Zagarakis, they also played professionally on the World Tour for Team Paris. And top to bottom, these teams can both go. Cav gets getting the action started with the deuce. Here's Shanti. Mr. Nice has it knocked away out of bounds. I think one of the most underrated players. He doesn't talk a whole lot. Zagarakis, quick to the cup like a rocket. Lays it in. 2-1. This is pool B play for the fellas. Both of these squads once again 2-0. Look again at the up fake. Zagarakis to the cup. Finsgar to Kavkic. Kavkic waiting for the screen. He got nowhere to go. He gets it to Ovnik. He's got one of the wettest balls in all 3x3. Sees that one go off the front of the rim. Pontins with the good box out. Janti uh, loses his footing. And there's Bronchard on the drive. Only fitting, he looks like a trucker. Two up. Finsgar to Avnik. Catch, shoot, miss. So Bronchard is going to kick it out. Pontins clears it. Here's Janti. Takes the contact. Oh, just barely misses the layup. Now he's got a D up. And Finsgar loses it out of bounds. Zagarakis is going to check in. And Janti is going to check out. Mr. Nice, living up to his nickname, gave me a tour around the city. And uh, it's pretty cool. Showed me some of, the, some of his favorite spots. And now they're my favorite spots. Pontins pull up, Jay. Missed it. Finsgar, the sleek one. Official nickname is the Sphinx. But everything about his game is just kind of, just kind of smooth. Just kind of flows. Shrey Bolt, the youngster on the team, at uh, 25 years old. There's Kavgic, nowhere to go. Launches that up to try to beat the shot clock. Nothing happening on the possession. So as it stands, it's a 2-2 game. Who's going to remain unbeaten? Team Philippines waiting in the wings. They come into play today, one and one. Bronchard guarded well by Ogni. Shrey Bolt clears it, almost loses the handle. Kavkic gets it to him. Shrey Bolt stops, pops, and drops. Goes off the glass, and Slovenia has a two-point advantage. Here's Pontins. He was fouled by Kavkic. Kavkic is going to check out. Finsgar is going to check in. Janti hands it off to Zagarakis. The Frenchman looking on. Pontins misses. Zagarakis is going to track it down and save it. But he saves it. Uh, out of bounds. So it's going to be Slovenia Rock. So Avnik was the MVP of the Europe Cup 2016. Again, this is the same team that won the Europe Cup with Avnik, Kavgic, Shrebop, and Finsgar. Now Finsgar guarding the Undertaker. And he takes him down under, doesn't he? He says, this is where the big boys live. Finsgar, drive. Takes some contact at the rim and still scores. Zagarakis, the czar. Let's one fly from two. He misses. But the Undertaker is there for the follow. Here's the Sphinx. Kicks it, Shrey Bob, open look. He left it up short, Shrey Bob. Takes the feed from the Sphinx and scores it. So these two going back and forth as Janti clears it. Bronchard looking for Janti, bad pass. Ovnik steps behind the two point line. You cannot give him an inch, not an inch, not a centimeter. Or he'll put one right in your eye socket. Zagarakis. 
Turns it over here. Trey Bolt on the cut. And you'll see that from this uh, Slovenia team. That ball movement and player movement. Big reason why they've had so much success in everything they've done in 3x3. Look back at uh, some of the action so far. The Sphinx hanging and kicking a pass out. Kavkic locked and loaded as always. And he may be one of the most deceptive 3x3 players. When you look at him, you don't think Hooper, but that's exactly what he is. As a matter of fact, Kavgic, his team's leading scorer coming in today, into today with 15 points. Ovnik behind him with 11. Meantime, eight points apiece for Shrey Bolt and the Sphinx. So here's Shrey Bolt on the spin move. Zagarakis knew he was beat, so he found him on the floor. Two fouls apiece. Slovenia leads this thing nine to four. And Shrey Bow gonna set the pick. Sphinx trying to slip through. Oh, that's just beautiful. Oh, misses the crib though. Can't be beautiful with that. Pontins. Bad D there from, uh, from Slovenia as Pontins gets the score. Another look. Pontins straight to the rack. Kavkis picks away. Curls back around. Shrey Bolt. Oh, doing battle with the Undertaker. Oh, he says, have that. Have that. You may be the Undertaker. I'm the Paul Bear. Pontin, soft touch off the glass. Cav gets in a bad position in the corner there as he's guarded aggressively. Here's Shrey Bolt going against Mr. Nice. And some good defense there from Jonti. Jonti, move. And can't finish at the rim. Tough shot. 10-6. As Kavkis looked to add to the lead, Shrey Bolt saves it to him. Kavkis nowhere to go. Back to Shrey Bolt. Shrey Bolt short on the uh, shot attempt. And Ovnik hit it out of bounds. Shrey Bolt's going to check out. Fensgar's going to check in. And The Undertaker trying to get the crowd in it here in Nantes. He wants to feel that energy. The Undertaker. Wants to get his team, bring him back to life. Looking at a four-point deficit about halfway through. The Czar hands it off to Jeanti and gets it back. He's waiting on the pick, or maybe not. Pulls up. Oh, a little long on that. Kavkis is going to clear it. A lot of contact on the play, and a foul is called. Zagarakis. Oh, yeah, he's got him all wrapped up, slaps him in the head and everything. He's going to call that every time. Kavkic is on the ground as Bron Sharp. There's nothing of it. Foul called on the drive as the Sphinx will step up to the strike. Shoot a free throw. Finsgar and Kavgic are a part of an exclusive group of players who have played in all five editions of the World Tour. They'll be playing uh, for a sixth, a sixth straight season here in 2017 as Janti scores underneath. Kavgic, catch, shoot, no. Janti back down quickly to Bronchard. The Undertaker loses his balance a little bit, but Goes off of Ovnik's foot. Jonti to Pontins. Back to Jonti. High arcing two. He can taste the leather. One point game. Jonti with some defense on Ovnik. Oh, and he puts that one right in his eye socket. Mud water. 
another look. I mean, good defense, but and Ovnik is a he's an assassin. Up fake, always protects the ball. It's like a slingshot, the rotation on that thing. Off the glass. No, he didn't call it, of course. Kavgic is going to shoot the first free throw and knock it down. And sportsmanlike conduct called on Team France. So a couple of free throws follow for Slovenia. Kavgic knocks them both down, plus a possession. There's Ovnik. Spin. The Sphinx. Can't get it to go. So that's hit out of bounds, it looks like, on Slovenia. And it should be France ball, if I'm correct. And the crowd is lit as Team France is looking at a five-point deficit, four minutes to play. The people are on their feet. And they're witnessing some good basketball, y'all. Yeah. Saga Rockets, long, stays 14-9. Under four minutes to play. Janti called for the foul as the Sphinx was driving. Finsgar, up. And under pass to Shrey Bolt, who mwah, kisses it off the glass. Bronchard. Thought he had something working on the baseline. He loses it out of bounds. It's going to be green ball as Bronchard checks out. Here's Ovnik. Shrey Bolt. Fade away. Nope. Shanti looked at it, swung it. Pontins leaves it on the front of the rim. 15-9. Three minutes to play. Kavgic, couple of moves. Nowhere to go. And three seconds is called. And he knew it as he heads to the bench. Checks out. Finn's guard checks in. Now he's got a guard, Zagarakis. Shrey Bolt. John T. Fouled underneath as he established position on the Sphinx. John T. Sets the screen, gets it back, draws the foul. So four fouls now committed by Team France. And six committed, no, four fouls committed by Slovenia, six on Team France. This one's a shooting foul. As Janti, who has uh, played a couple of years of pro basketball, five on five here in the city of Nantes. Plays the game for the love of the game, is what he told me. He said he. He would play with no money involved. As a matter of fact, he said he would pay to play. That's somebody that loves the game. He's playing for the right reasons. Now, can his team come back from a five-point deficit with 250 on the clock in front of the home crowd? That's the question. Zagarak is trying to give us some help to get the answer. Well, 15-12. The Sphinx step back, Jay, no. The Undertaker to the Czar. And he misses. But Jonti with the board, kicks it back out. The Czar misses. The Undertaker beasting down low to get the rebound, but he can't finish it off. Ovnik, oh, 
Why'd he do the czar like that? Oh my goodness. That's just filthiness. The czar might need to take a personal time out after that. Jonti misses at the rim. The, the Sphinx to the cup, lays it in. 17 to 12 lead for Slovenia as Bronchard gets the score. It's a four point game. 145 on the clock. Ovnik, you know he's going to pull that, right? Misses it. Jonti, he has it. He's going to pull now. High arcing two is missed. Bronchard quickly out to the czar. To Jonti. Jonti, soft touch over the Sphinx to make it a three point basketball game. 132 on the clock, y'all. And it's going down. The final day of pool play, day four of five here in Nantes at the 2017 FIBA 3x3 World Cup. Take another look at my man Ovnik. Oh my, oh my. You can look at that all day long. Shanti getting the score on the inside. Saying, let's keep it going, fellas. Let's keep it going. Obnik swings it over. Cav gets waiting on a pick. Hands it to Obnik. Shoots it straight on from the top of the key. Misses. Pontens can't steal the uh, rebound. So here's Obnik guarded by the Undertaker. Uh oh. He's trying to hit him with a couple of moves. Stray bolt. Long ball. 19 to 14. That silenced the crowd a little bit. Pontens misses. And the czar is fouled by Kavgic. And what a shot. Don't sleep on Team Slovenia. They are the two seed for a reason. Another break in the action. As we get a look at some of the back and forth between these two. Pontens with the miss. And Kavgic with the foul. See the, uh, the words, the bridge on the backboard, celebrating the 100 year friendship between the United States and France. Bronchard gets it from the Tsar over to Janti. Janti gets in the paint, flips it up, and tips it in. Makes it a four-point game. Here's Shrey Bow trying to answer. We're under a minute to play now. He gets the pick from Kavgic. Bronchard to Janti. Janti off the mark, but the Undertaker is there to recover the board. He clears it. And Kavgic, nothing but uh, nothing to do but foul there. As he was beat, six fouls now apiece. The next foul will amount to two free throws as uh, they'll be in the penalty. And by they, I mean either team. Nice move by Bron Sharp. And a nice score on the inside to make it a three-point game. But time is not working in Team France's favor. The Sphinx pulls up, leaves that one way short. So 17 seconds remaining, three-point basketball game. And the local fans here are on their feet. They know it's not over yet, but you got to have a smart possession. Zagarakis, nice drive and the score. So the shot clock and the game clock are about even here. I'm thinking the Czar might, might should have fouled there as time expires. He's thinking they got one second left. And he might be right. They're going to take a look at this. Hey, 
And the refs are going to take a look to see how much time should be left. Okay, so they decided one second. One second should be on the game clock. So this will give Team France an opportunity to heave something up. And potentially tie this thing. And Team Slovenia, they all crowd around Zagarakis and block the pass smartly and preserve a very, very close victory. 19 to 17, Slovenia remains unbeaten in a crazy game. Didn't I tell you it was going to be good? Yeah.